Hello everyone. Welcome to I Exam B. I am Manali and as we all know, our preparation for GIC Assistant Manager 2021 exam is in full swing, especially since the notifications are out. With this in mind, if you remember, in one of our last videos, we talked about the do's and don'ts of pretty writing, things that you need to remember, things you cannot do, otherwise you might lose marks. Today, it's a quick review of those points. And then we're going to work out a present passage. It's going to be, a, it's going to be, it's going to have work from both of us, right? So I'm going to help you with some parts of the Prezi and then your task would be to complete the Prezi and put it down in the chat box. Okay, right. So like all my videos, we're going to first take a look at the exam pattern, which we already know, so it should not take long. Then we will move on and look at some points that we have already discussed, so just to jolt your memory, so that you remember what are the main important points in Prezi writing. From there, we are going to work on a Prezi passage together. Okay. Here, if you know, this is the exam pattern, and we are looking at the descriptive part, right? So it has three topics covering 30 marks. We have looked at some important essay topics. Now let's look at some pressy. Okay. So first things to remember, you need to read the passage first and find out essential and non-essential. So how we are going to do that? We'll find out very soon. Next, we need to create a rough draft. So our, how much, how many words, uh, what's the word limit that we are looking out for? So it should be one third of the passage, okay? So accordingly, we need to create a rough draft. Then, but remember, you cannot copy paste. It should be written in your own words. There should not be any copy paste. We also need to include the main idea. But when you're including the main idea, you need to do away with the non-essentials. Now, what are these non-essentials? Now, these non-essentials are basically these. Figurative language, unnecessary data, proverbs, description, statistics, etc. But remember something. Once you're done with the Prezi, the structure should be intact, compact, and complete. It should not read as an incomplete passage. It should be complete in all respects. Okay? With this in mind, let's take a look. Now, here is the first part of our passage. Let's try to read and see what it's all about, right? So for over two decades, India has acquired the reputation of being the pharmacy of the world. As its strong generic pharmaceutical industry has been supplying affordable medicines conforming to quality standards to the global market. This reputation grew out of the critical interventions that the Indian companies had made during the HIV AIDS pandemic by supplying affordable um, retro antiretroviral medicines to African countries. When the major pharmaceutical producers had demanded excessively high prices for these medicines. So India is known as the pharmacy of the world. Let's quickly mark out what is important. Okay, let's do that. So, pharmacy of the world, this is important. Okay, why is this so? Because it has been supplying medicines to the global market. Okay, and look at the next part. Next part, we are talking of an instance, an example, an incident that led India to get this title. 
So that is not something that we need. This is non-essential. What is essential is that India has acquired the reputation of being the pharmacy of the world because it has been supplying medicine to the global market. Fine. So this one we can put it in red. We do not need this. Okay. okay. Now, India has been continuing the trend. If you see, look at the read the next part. In keeping with its historical role as a provider of affordable medicine, India has taken two significant initiatives during the pandemic. So, India had was always the pharmacy of the world. Now, India is living up to its reputation and has taken two significant steps. What? The first one. It made vaccines easily available in the market. So again, I'm going to mark this is essential information. Okay, it made vaccines available in the market. Next. Next. Now see, when it comes to the next point, we do have a lot of unnecessary information in the beginning, okay? So we are gonna, we don't need that much of information, okay? So let's quickly identify the in, important information. The second initiative is a joint proposal tabled along with the South Africa in the World Trade Organization, which seeks temporary waiver from the implementation and enforcement of four forms of intellectual property rights. Even as, as it was organizing its COVID vaccine rollout, the Indian government announced an elaborate vaccine diplomacy strategy for providing vaccines to most of its neighbors. So what did India do first? It made vaccines readily available in the market. Second, it, yes, it agreed in signing a joint proposal and it did away with temporary waiver from implementation of intellectual property rights because India started following what is known as the vaccine diplomacy. Okay? Yes, it's a very, very important word. Fine, with its neighboring countries. You don't need to mention the name of the countries because we already know it, plus unnecessary information. Okay, next. Other countries, India, seven neighbors in South, uh, in South Asia, Afghanistan, Bangladesh, Bhutan, Maldives, uh, Nepal, and Sri Lanka. Other countries that have already received vaccine assistance are Seychelles, Myanmar, Mauritius, Bahrain, Barbados, Dominica, Oman. So India has been distributing vaccines in its country as well as it has done away with intellectual property rights and is following a vaccine diplomacy strategy by providing vaccines to many different countries. That is basically the main gist or whatever we've read till now. Okay? Okay? Okay, fine. Because India is using its soft power to assist developing countries. The real value of India's vaccine diplomacy was seen when Canadian Prime Minister Trudeau sought Prime Minister Modi's assistance for vaccine supplies from SII. SII is a Serum Institute of India. Even India supplied vaccines to Canada. Okay? Now, this is especially important because the Indian government's vaccine sharing policy with partner countries is without a doubt a standout in the times of alarming precedent of vaccine nationalism. And this is important. This is the author's opinion. The author feels that this is very important, this is especially important because other countries are following vaccine nationalism. They are not giving away vaccines. They are 
clinging on to vaccines right so they are buying more than they need so they are following vaccine nationalism and india is setting an example after this we have a a study which we don't need non essential information so according to duke we don't need all these things canada has the list of vaccine nationalists it's a, it has got vaccine nine times its population United Kingdom has stocked enough doses to vaccinate every citizen six times. Other countries have been securing vaccines that are well beyond its domestic requirements. On the other hand, India is setting an example, to sharing its vaccines, and also ensuring domestic demand is met. So, in a word, are what are we looking for? We are looking for India is living up to its reputation of being a pharmaceutical, what was it, uh, pharmacy of the world. Firstly, it's been supplying vaccine to all its neighboring countries. Plus, it has done two things: made vaccine available in the country. Plus, done away with it has sought waiver from the intellectual property rights, and therefore it has adopted the strategy of vaccine. diplomacy with a lot of countries in a time especially when other countries are procuring more vaccines than they need and are strictly vaccine nationalists india is setting an example by doing two things it's not only ensuring its domestic demand is met it's also sharing the vaccine supplies with other countries okay now what are we talking about here now we have more or less got the rough draft we know what what needs to go there what is essential what is non essential right now what about the title just ask yourself what is this passage talking about are we talking about covid 19 no are we talking about pros and cons of vaccination no not at all are we talking about the neighboring countries no are we talking about vaccine nationalism no we are basically talking about india's vaccine diplomacy so ideally that should be the title okay now we are almost done right so we have sorted the essentials and the non essentials we have also decided on the title now i have a task for you just write the pressy count the number of words and make sure you know that it is make sure your word count is around 1/3 the original <clears throat> words in the passage give a proper title and we already know the title check your grammar check your word count and put down the pressy in the comment section and i'm going to take a look at it and let you know if you're right or wrong okay so that way it becomes our work our joint effort okay Hope you like the session. Hope you are going to attempt this pressy soon, and leave the answers in the comment section. Thank you so much. I'll be back very soon with another video. And if you like this video, and if you found this useful, do not forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.